throughout the whole cemetery you see countless headstones the tall markers that you see that are gray with a slant at the top represents each state um, I'm going to currently look for Virginia uh, there's Florida Louisiana's behind it Texas right there I've taken quite a few photos of these little little sit down spots. South Carolina. To the 3,000 soldiers in this cemetery from every southern state who fell on Georgia soil in defense of Georgia rights and Georgia homes. They sleep the sleep of our noble slain, defeated yet without a stain, proudly and peacefully. This was dedicated to the Confederate dead by Kennesaw, Kennesaw Chap Chapter. United Daughters of the Confederacy, Marietta, Georgia in 1908. To our Cobb County soldiers who so nobly illustrated Georgia on many a hard-won field, to those who died for a sacred cause, and to those who lived to win a nobler victory in time of peace. I'm hoping I can fit all this in to one video and I would like to get on video the Virginia area so I can see how many heroes are buried in the section. Um, there's North Carolina, 73 heroes. I see Tennessee. I may have to walk down because I believe Virginia is down there. Tennessee had 325 heroes, as stated on that one from 19, 1861 to 1865. They're up here currently working on cleaning up the cemetery. I uh, saw a gentleman up here weed eating. Um, even through all the mess and junk going on Facebook. This is a sacred place right here. We think our cemeteries for our loved ones is sacred. It is. But this right here is the most sacred along with the D-Day Memorial, all the unknown uh, soldiers of the military. Uh, this one is the unknown, unnumbered heroes. This is probably the saddest part of the whole section because these are markers for no one that in particular they don't know their names, they don't know where they're from, they fought in the Confederate War. Family members could be buried here, missing family members from back then, it's a little bit tragic trying to step softly around here. I do hope I do not get in trouble for walking through here, but I, I don't think it's an issue. I know I just came up through here, but I'm gonna cut back up and go through the path. Um, on the other side, you see straight in front of me is the uh, actual Marietta Cemetery, I do believe. Do not quote me on that. There's the Confederate Cemetery sign. It says 3,000 Confederate dead from every southern state are buried in the cemetery. 
first established for soldiers killed in a railroad collision in 1863, became the resting place for the dead from nearby battlefields in 1866 under the direction of Miss Mary J. Green and Miss Charles J. William of the Georgia Memorial Association. Bodies were moved here from the Chickamauga, Chickamauga, I think I'm saying it right, area. Land for the cemetery was given by Miss Jane Glover and Moyer and other citizens of Marietta. A cannon which served Georgia Military Institute from 1852 to 1864 was used by the Confederate Army, captured by Sherman's forces, held as a trophy of war until 1910, and then placed in the cemetery. And that cannon that they are talking about is right here. This beautiful piece of art. Um, I do see that the base has been replaced and refurbished, but the original cannon does sit on top. Um, it says, this little cannon served at the Georgia Mill Military Institute from 1852 to 1864, then went into the Confederate Army, was captured on Sherman's march to the sea, 1864 to 1865, and held as a trophy of war until 1910 when it was turned by the United States government to Confederate Cemetery at Marietta, Georgia. And as you can see up there, they are flying proudly, honorably. I know quite a few people that I am going to definitely tag in this video because I'm not sure if many people get a chance to take a trip like this and actually see firsthand and witness the beauty of such a sacred cemetery. It is just beautiful. They do events here, I do know that. Tours, walkthroughs, talks. There they are, flying. Just as beautiful as they can be. Each one of these little stoppers has a little book with it and it has a uh, section uh, I guess from a diary and the name on it is Maddie um, I'm gonna go back through and get the pictures of each one to see if I can get what the book says there's Kentucky heroes 14 almost gives you kind of a chill walking through here you feel the hair raise up a little bit it, uh, not very not on a creepy but you can feel it you can feel the presence of soldiers um, there's Georgia's since we are in Marietta Georgia they had 116 heroes that are buried here. And all of these little box you see, they have no names, no markings. This is how they were buried. As they were brought here, they were placed in their forever resting place. Some of them have uh, markings on them. Um, captains, uh, leaders I guess you would say and there is Wesley Brown um, I'm hoping that I try to get this right uh, the Brown family is the main resting place of this cemetery I do believe do not quote me as always um, Mississippi right there 129 heroes. I think if I'm wrong, 
I'll snack myself, but I do believe that Virginia had quite a few uh, heroes rested here. Texas. Texas, 87 heroes. I see Arkansas. All the ranting and raving on on Facebook, in the news, in the media. You see something like this. This is something you cannot mess with. This is history. This is this is part of something that happened. I mean, how how do you mess with something like this? Uh, that one right there says. Missouri and Maryland. Missouri had two heroes. Maryland had three heroes. Uh, we got a, a beautiful statue right here. It says Met Marietta Confederate Cemetery established 1863. Confederate soldier Dio Vendus. God is our vindic. Vindic Vind I can't say it Somebody will probably put it in the comments How you say that Vindicator Something like that But that is beautiful Very very beautiful And yes I am getting winded Because this is a Big Big cemetery Um, let's see. Oh, the hospital section of the Confederate military. Wow. This hospital section right here is holding 629 heroes. That is unbelievable. 629. That still have not found Virginia. There it is. I see it. Really? I must be reading that wrong because that number looks a little low. Which I do believe we had quite a few, but well... Virginia 15 heroes Wow I did not know it was that low but Virginia is still part of the Confederate Southern States so technically I wouldn't say that it's judged by each state it should be judged by all together there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Confederate soldiers buried here. This is just unbelievably beautiful. I mean, I'm, I've always wanted this right here this simple little trip as a ride along with my mom going to Williamsburg to Jamestown Yorktown the settlements up there they, they this this tops it all I mean this is just phenomenal I'm an absolute awe of all of this
Oh my god. Wow. This one says the slave loft, the only slave burial ground in any major white Georgia cemetery. Here 19 Christian slaves, key word and emphasis, Christian slaves and freed persons of Marietta Christians were buried in unmarked graves circa 1848 to 1866. Only four have been positively named servants of Miss Eliza G. Roberts, Clarissa Hannah, Nancy and Peggy, they lived adjacent to the north side of the fresh First Presbyterian Church. Wow. Um, then you have S.B. Sanford. Um, due to respect, I will resist myself to walk through these certain sections. Um, well, well, I'm going to have to, to get to this little marker, we have a, a spry chicken of a lady right here, young lady sitting on the bench, right next to a book, and all of them say Maddie, Maddie Harris Lyon. Ooh, let me read this one to you. Maddie Harris Lyon, 97, the mother of Marietta, was known for her years of zealous and affectionate service in relig religious, civic war welfare, and patriotic activities. Her life was dedicated to the service of people of all races. A true humanitarian, she gave unselfishly through religious and social service work. Through her inspiration, through her inspiration, the Cobb County Welfare Department, the Cobb County Chapter of the American Red Cross, Community Chest, and other humanitarian agencies were founded. She was president of the Women's Missionary Society at the First Methodist Church, active in the Women's Christian Temperance Union, president of the United Daughters of the Confederacy, and the Ladies' Confederate Memorial Association. Other associations included the Civil, Civic League of Marietta, which later became the Women's Club, a charter membership in the Flower Garden Club, and an honorary membership of Marietta Country Club. She took the lead in making, marking the graves of the dead in Confederate Cemetery adjacent to the city cemetery. It was said of Maddie Harris Lyon, a city comes in the time comes in time to have a personality and therefore a heart and in the very center of Marietta's heart Maddie Harris Lyon is enshrined she was a princess of the golden pen for letters of good cheer she wrote a ver veritable Dorcas of good deeds to the poor and needy a Mary to sit at the feet of her Lord and learn of his spirit and the Martha to translate her his truth into blessed doing. She was a great teacher, for she taught Marietta to have a good heart and a mighty love. Reverend Marvin Williams. She was a living example that old age can be beautiful and meaningful. Her life answered her prayer. Let me die working, still tackling plans, unfinished and undone. Clean to its end, may my race be run. No lagging steps, no faltering, no shrinking. Let me die working. Rest well, Miss Maddie. So that is Miss Maddie. Who started it all? Who did all of this? Who created everything? That is, that, that right there will definitely tug at your heartstrings.
have William Root, the Root family. Um, if I read that by a glance correctly, uh, he was a merchant, a druggist, and I, Episcopan, Epis, Episcopalian, what, I think I said that correctly. He helped found St. James in 1842 to 1844. He built his home across from the church. His 1845 drugstore on the square was a town social center. The root home, one of the oldest wooden houses. And a good specimen of early town architecture now stands at North Marietta Parkway and Polk Street. It is open to the public. I may see if I can make it down there to do that. Um, my battery is starting to go dead, which means I need to put it on the charger. So I'm going to have to cut this just a little short, but not much. But this is, I had it wrong. This is the entire, the entire cemetery. This is the Confederate Cemetery. So I looked at the map wrong. I thought this was part of the regular cemetery, but it is actually all Confederate related cemetery. I see another one. It is the Founder's Lot, William Harris. Oldest grave is on the plot for William Harris, son of William Capers G. Harris. Miss Harris, a wealthy planner, was a devout Methodist and champion of education. In War of 1812, he served in Captain Jet Thomas, 2nd Regiment, Georgia Military. He was Colonel... Colonel Cobb County Militia, 33 to 34, helped found 1851 Georgia Military Institute. And here are the entombments. Very, very, very sacred. Um, looks like over time they've been damaged. Um, I think this is a son or a daughter. Here lies the remains of I can't I can't tell. It was a Harris who was born April 6, 1823 and died 1831. Um, eight years. Seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. Eight years old. And the heart of the entire cemetery. One of the hearts of the cemetery. Our sister. Our mother. I'm trying to see if I can spot Maddie. I got about 13% battery still hanging in there, so I, I think I've got enough to try to find Maddie. Um, if I, of course, I, if I did read that correctly, Maddie is buried here. And I cannot leave this cemetery, especially for my lovely wife, Jenna, who is a big, big nerd when it comes to all the old stuff, especially Confederacy. She would kick my butt if I do not come out of here without at least finding the heart of the cemetery. Down to 12, hanging in there. Did I pass it? 
or did I miss it? I am pretty positive it did say that Maddie is laid to rest here at the center. And all the old stone, you can smell history. I mean, literally, you can smell history. And like I said, you can still feel a, a little chill that goes up your spine as you walk through here, knowing that all of this is historical. If I ever get a chance to come back down here again, I am definitely bringing Jenna. She would go through a massive SD card taking picture after picture of all of this. I mean, this is just fun. This is fantastic. Uh, I'm, this is an honor. It is a true honor to be walking through here. On, I don't even think honor is the word. It's a privilege to be able to walk through here. I did notice on the way in they are doing some uh, patchwork to the cemetery. Uh, there's been a few places that have washed out. Um, they're uh, trying to fix erosion spots to do what they can to preserve this glorious cemetery. Um, among those that will definitely be tagged in this video, uh, Cindy. Orange Neely, you're number one at the very top of the list on this one. Uh, sorry, honey, but you are being tagged too. Um, my good buddy on Facebook, John, uh, he, he stands up proud and true and shows pride for, for this heritage. I mean, it is just a complete honor. And I think I found it. Nope. I thought I did, but this one up here says Lady in Black. This memorial to Mary Annie Gartrell, 53 to 1906, was erected by her grieving sister Lucy from 63 to 1954. Musicians both and natives of Cobb County, Lucy visited this grave from her Atlanta home at least twice weekly for 48 years, many times on foot. Dressed always in morning clothes, Lucy became known as the, on the streets of Atlanta as the Lady in Black. That's where I've heard the history of the Lady in Black. I have actually, I remember hearing something in the history books about a lady in black, and that would be the sister to Annie, Mary Annie. All right, uh, battery's dropping down to 8%. I am almost completely through the entire cemetery, so I just might make it. I've got one little, one little piece to go, and it is on the back side right here. And I should have said this way early in the video, but I do apologize if it is just a little bit shaky. Um, I am running this thing in landscape mode. So when you play this on the computer or your tablet or your mobile device, it will be a full screen experience. It will not be a portrait up and down. I have successfully made it.
all the way to the other side. I see a grave up there. It says love on it. How nice. I wonder if that is actually their last name. Well, judging by the fact that a lot of these bigger ones have last names, I would say so. This one right here looks recent. So I'm wondering if we have had an addition to... Uh-huh, brown. That would make sense. Mama Bonnie S. Brown and Papa Ernest E. Brown. Bonnie died in 79. Ernest died in 1949. Absent from the body, at home with the Lord. Buried side by side. The way it should be. The way it should always be. Well, I do apologize. I was trying to see, according to that little plaque, that Maddie was buried in the heart of the cemetery. Of course, I may have been staring right at it where uh, Maddie was sitting on that bench. So it may have been in that area. I was wanting to get at least a video shot of her resting place. I just noticed someone that drove up in here just got out of their car and put their hand to their head as a salute, removed their hat, put their hand over their heart and bowed their head and said a prayer just like I did. You don't have to be active military or be part of the army or anything to, to salute. I think that's the best way to show respect through here. Before you even step foot on these grounds, remove your hat, say a prayer, and salute all the men and women. And unfortunately, children that have been laid to rest here. God rest all 